This is a granddaughter's letter to her alcoholic grandfather. Dear Papa, I think, no, I know that I'm speaking for everyone in this house when I say this, but your drinking habits are beyond limits. I mean, way beyond limits. You are out of control, obnoxious, very, very violent, loud, and many more. Do you really think that is a good influence to be teaching your grandchildren? Because that's what's happening. I'm old enough to know never ever to be like you, but Gregory, he is only four years old for crying out loud. Ever since he's been around you, he's heard bad words and has got a temper and no, it's not just from mom, it's also from you. You, you, you. And you shouldn't have an excuse for everything because nobody believes it. I've had this, I've held this in for six years. Six years. I chose to give this to you when you were sober because when you're drunk, heh, you can't even stand up when you're drunk. And no, there is no reason you should get so drunk like you have been doing lately. It's not because no one hates you or doesn't love you, and it's especially not because grandma has a bad habit too. You are a grown man. Start acting like one. You have a choice. Like you always say when you're sober, two wrongs don't make a right. You are one of those wrongs, so make yourself a right. Be a bigger man. You need to understand that I'm in a point in life where I soak up everything that is going on around me. You and your abuse of alcohol is not a pretty sight. Just last year, I was so close to filing abuse on you when you punched me in the nose and grandma in the eye. I'm sorry I'm saying such strong words, but when you're drunk, you're a total asshole. And I'm saying it for everybody, everyone, mom, Robert, Robo, especially me and grandma. Do you know how close you are to driving us away for the rest of your life? No, you don't. Because if you did, you would have stopped drinking a long time ago. I remember all the things you did to us. Do you want me to list them off? Hmm? Okay, let's see. You shut the power off multiple times, hit me, hit her multiple times, yelled multiple times, broke a chair over grandma's back, locked us out of the house multiple, threw eggs at her. Oh, I could just go on and on for days, actually. Oh yeah, you also threatened to kill us at one point or the other and threw glass at her, hitting her in the face. Sometimes, well, most of the time, I want to stick up for myself, you know, say something bold, but I don't. You know why? Because I know you're so damn drunk that you'll forget every word I said. You also know what I hate? That's right, I said another powerful word, hate. It's when you think everyone else around you is wrong and you're right. Whatever. That's in your own little world. That's the picture I drew you. It wasn't supposed to be funny. It was how you treat us. Like animals. You may disagree with that, but ask anyone. They'll say, yep, because you do. I know a person who is just like you, and she's a little kid. That's how you act, like a two-year-old kid. What she said at an, out at an award show was, and I quote, Do you know why I got this award? Because I'm a winner, and you are all losers. Every one of you, loser, loser, loser. That sounds like you. You may not remember last night when you embarrassed me, made me feel like nothing. You even threatened me with a crescent wrench. Now how manly is that, huh? You think that you are at the top of the food chain, but oh no. The only one who is below you is Angelina. Hell, she acts older than you anyway. When you're drunk, you are a bully. One of your idiot stupid excuses is the most wrong one. Oh, and I quote, I can yell at you because I own the place. What in God's name kind of lame excuse is that? Besides, Grandma paid for most of it. I bet you're saying, oh yeah, sure, whatever. But deep down somewhere, you know the truth. I hope this has put some common sense in there. We want you to join at least AA, please, before you drive any more of us away. Life is all about sacrifices. Whiskey doesn't make a man. A man makes a man. Either sacrifice your alcohol or sacrifice your family. Be a real man. Drop the alcohol. Jessica.